So one thing that you will notice is that right here at the top, we see something slightly different. This is our traditional talking points and action items and notepad, all the things that you know and love about Fellow all right there. There is one additional thing, and it's got this beautiful color purple, very similar to your background, which has also got the Fellow purple, those little stars. You kind of notice those stars there. And it says record this meeting in beta. And so why don't we go ahead and press this button and see what happens when we do. Ah, it says meeting assistant joining meeting. And I look see at that. someone is joining our recording and I hope the audience can see it right now. We have a fellow meeting assistant who joined our Zoom call. Wow, look at that. And uh, hopefully everybody can see it. I like the way the meeting assistant looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love the purple sparkles next to the fellow logo indicating that it's powered by AI. And I know this meeting assistant has a few fun functionalities, Aiden. So what are they? Yeah, there's a lot. It seems like it's recording what we're talking about. And, you know, there's a lot that we can definitely talk about here. But since this is recording, maybe we should talk about some interesting things for it to record. So one of our favorite topics to talk about at Fellow, whenever we're doing a social event or something, is whether or not pineapples should go on pizza. So <laughs> that we can get this on the record, what do you think? I believe pineapple goes on pizza. I really like pineapple on pizza. What do you think? Mm. No, I just can't do sweet things on pizza. I don't think pineapple on pizza goes, unfortunately. People, people in the audience are probably thinking like, why are they talking about pineapple on pizza? You will see. You will see. <laughs> it's very important. Since the fellow bot is here, we just decided to do that. And so what I'm going to do is stop this recording just to show you how this works. So I'm going to click on stop. It says stop and save. So it is recording our discussion here or the portion thereof where we invited Fellowbot. You can see as soon as we did that, Fellowbot is now gone. Now, Fellow will, by default, wait. You can see that the record button showed up again. So if we wanted it to come back again, you can basically tell it to leave. You can tell it to come back. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press end meeting. So normally fellow bot will wait for the meeting to end, right? There's 47 minutes left in this meeting. But what I'm going to do is press end meeting now. And as soon as I did, look at what happened. Wow, that was fast. That was really <laughs> fast. fast. What is this? So one of the first things that fellow bot does is what we're showing you, which is it provides a beautiful meeting summary. And so let's see what it says. It says discussion about the functionalities of the meeting assistant and debate on whether pineapples belong on pizza. Aiden introduces some of the assistant's key features. There you go. Very accurate, very precise. If you were not part of this meeting, which again, if you're not going to participate in a meeting and you just want to know what's going on, you have this fear of missing out. Here's a way where you can keep up to date on what is going on in your meetings in the format of a summary, beautifully provided right there alongside your notes, alongside your talking points and action items, all in one place. Imagine living on vacation for a week and then coming back and being able to read all the summaries from those meetings that you missed. I think this is a game-changing feature. Yeah, it's exactly that. We want to save you time. We want to make sure that you spend only the right amount of time in meetings. We don't want you to spend too much time in meetings and we want your meeting time to be effective. So let's talk about that scenario. You're on vacation, you come back, you're clicking on your various meetings on the left-hand side. And as you do that, you basically see you know, the meeting summary. And so you read this meeting summary and then you think, ha, they're talking about this super hotly debated topic of pineapples belonging on pizza or not. And then you might get curious to think, what did Manuela think? Yeah. How do we find out what she thought? And possible now? How to find so, it? Yeah. So as you can see right here, there is this button called recording. And if I click on that, let's see what happens. And voila, this is your recording. It's your transcript and your summary all in one place. 
So you can see here, this is the same summary that we had. And if I click on this, what you'll be able to see is the recording that we have, which is amazing. This is the transcript of everything that we talked about, which is really, really cool. And you can search for things. So let's search for whenever we started talking about pineapple. And you can see here exactly what you said. And if you want <laughs> proof that you said it, you can actually click on it. Now there's proof. Yeah, so there you go. And then if you wanted to take that proof and you wanted to put it in a Slack channel or something to demonstrate that to everybody else, what you could do is you could click on this copy link item. Now you have the link to the exact part of the meeting where something was discussed, and then you can send it right away. That is very cool. So you could message me on Slack saying, hey, Manuela, I heard that you like pineapple and pizza. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yourself. And then you might say, hey, you weren't here last week. How did you figure that out? I have or a question about privacy, because I know some users have been asking about this. Who gets access to this transcript? Yeah, so this transcript is only accessible to the people who have access to the meeting itself. So if you are on the meeting invite, just like regular fellow permissions work, you can only see the things that you have access to, the meetings that you're already invited to, and you won't see anything else. And so these transcripts will work the same way. Similar with the video. If you get a link to the video, you can only see the video itself, even if you have the link, if you have access to the meeting. So the other thing I wanted to point out here is that one of the things I like to do, especially if I'm reviewing things after the fact, is change the playback speed. So I did want to also mention here that you can always go and you can watch things at 2x and essentially make sure that you can watch things at your own pace, especially if you're watching something after the fact. It's all about saving time. So if you want to watch something faster, you can definitely do that with this new playback video that we have here. You can download the entire thing. You can get a link to it. You can see the summary. And the important thing is all of this stuff is located in one place. Fellow becomes a holistic solution that includes all of these different things in that one location. And so this is the first thing that we wanted to show you today. We wanted to introduce the fellow bot. We wanted to show you how the fellow bot is going to automatically create a meeting summary for you to take a look at. You can access the recordings. You can watch them at double speed. You can see the transcripts, search through those, share the videos, and it makes it easy. We like to think about you don't just want to attend a meeting, you want to participate in the meeting as well. And if you're not going to participate in the meeting, now you actually don't have to attend. You can just catch up on the meeting after the fact. And I think the fellow AI meeting assistant does exactly that.